everyone and welcome. I am Miss Jamie, one of the program facilitator at Malvern Family Resource Center. Let's start off with our welcome song to welcome everyone. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you today? Welcome and let's start program now. Hello everyone. So nice to be seeing you guys here again. Today, Miss Jamie is going to share a very fun book with you. Um, have you ever joined any music class before? Well, if you haven't tried it before and you wanted to know what it is, well, today, Miss Jamie is going to share a book with you and we're going to take a little peek into it to see what music classes are all about. And uh, we are going to be making a very fun and easy craft too that you can use at home um, to play with. It's going to be a fun little instrument. Yes. So boys and girls, this uh, it's going to be lots of fun. Looking forward to it. Are you guys ready? Yes, if you are, then let's start program together. Boys and girls, today Miss Jamie has a book to share with you. Uh, this is called Music Class Today. As you can see, we got lots of boys and girls over here and they are all playing different instruments. Yay! I see some maracas over here. Yep, here they are. And then let's see what else do I see? Oh, I think this might be a drum. A drum here. And then we got, oh, I think this might be a stylophone. Very colorful, rainbow colored stylophone. I uh, got tambourine and some egg shakers here. Lots of different instruments. Seems very fun, fun. Uh, I love this book. Hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. Uh, this is Music Class Today, written by David Weinstone, uh, pictures by Vin uh, Vogel. Yeah, so here it is. This is what it looks like. Uh, friends, do you guys like music? Have you been to any music class before? Let's read this together and find out what happens. So, ta-da! Over here, the sign says, Music class today, I think we might have a mommy. This might be mommy over here bringing this little boy to music class. Yay, everyone's going into music class today. Hello, John. Hello, Sue. Hello, Billy. Hello, you. Hello, Maya. Hello, Ruth. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. Yep, so can you see that they're sitting in a circle? Just like what we do for circle time. Um, and then this probably is the teacher. He's playing a guitar with all of these children sitting nicely around him in a circle. Uh, and they're having fun together. Yay, yep. Just like what we do too. Uh, before we start program, we say hello to everyone, right? And so this teacher, he's doing the same. Ooh. First up, they have, what are these? What are these in their hands? What do you think these are? Shake your eggs high. Shake, shake, shake. Ooh, they're egg shakers. Shake your eggs low. Can you pretend you got egg shakers here? And we're gonna shake them low, low, low. Reach below, everyone. Oh, let's see. One rolled away. It rolled away. Where did it go? Can you see it? Where did the egg go? Look, 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 rolling away. Maybe to the next page. Well, I don't know. Oh, look. Who is this? This is a new friend, right? Remember, he was coming in to music class with mommy. Time for a song. Yay, everyone. It's opening the mouth wide. Ah, 
to sing song together. Nice song. Everyone sing. What does this little boy say? I think I'll just watch, but I'm listening. Yep, even though this boy did not join them, but he's still watching with his eyes and listening with his ears. And cute little froggy here too. That's all right, that's okay. Whenever you're ready, come on over and play. That's all right, there's no rush. Whenever you're ready, come play with us. Yes, so for now, he's just gonna sit over here with his froggy and with mommy while everyone else and the teacher sing and have fun together. Kick your feet high, kick one, then two. Sneakers fly, <gasps> who lost a shoe? Ooh, now they're moving on to maybe dancing and kicking. Yes, do you like doing that in music class? Miss Jimmy love doing these things with my boys and girls too. We dance, we sing, and it's lots of fun. Time for sticks, go clickety clack. I think I'll just watch here on your lap. Mm -hmm. Now, sticks are given out to our friends and what are they using it for? Oh, this boy's using it on the drum. This girl's using it to build a square. Oh, I think this friend is pretending to be a dinosaur. What do you think? Oh, and look at this girl here. She's so funny. I think she's pretending to be a robot. She is saying, danger, danger, danger. <laughs> exactly like a robot. Oh, and he's still sitting here with mommy, which is okay. He is still watching and listening. And look, we got other children here as well with their mommy. Oh, and this little boy is uh, playing on the drums with his daddy. That's all right, that's okay. Whenever you're ready, come on over and play. That's all right, there's no rush. Whenever you're ready, come play with us. Yep, it's okay. He's still watching over here with his froggy friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so boys and girls, you can do the same too. Uh, let's say you come to a program, let's say you go to school or in childcare. When you're, whenever you're ready, just come on and play. If not, you can sit quietly, listen and watch. That works too. Twirl your scarves, spin around and around. Did someone get dizzy and have to sit down? <laughs> and up next, they're playing with scarves. <gasps> This is very fun to do. Have you played with scarves before? Uh, in programs, sometimes we play, turn the music on, and then we give everyone some scarf and we shake, shake, shake them in the air. Shake them high, shake them low, and then you can wave them up high too and wave them below. Lots of fun and, oh, this is very fun. Look at this friend. He's lying down with the scarf right on his face. Yes, parents, you can uh, try that with your children as well, especially babies or toddlers. Uh, sometimes they just, when when the uh, see-through scarf is on them, they see different colors, right? See through the scarf, they see different colors and it's very fascinating for them. And this girl over here, I think she's making knots. Ooh, she must be very good at making knots and tying them together. Very cool, I love it. Yes, and if you dance too much, you might get dizzy, but it's okay, just sit down and have a rest. And counting song, ooh, count one, two, three. I think we'll just watch my froggy and me. Look, he's over here, he's still watching, holding on to his froggy but I think he's kind of participating. Yes, so parents, 
if your child is not ready to participate or not ready to join circle yet, don't force them. It's okay. They can watch. They can listen from afar, even though they might be doing other things. Um, they're still listening. They're still learning. That's all right. That's okay. Whenever you're ready, come on over and play. That's all right. There's no rush. Whenever you're ready, come join us. Yay. Oh, I think this friend here is pretending to be either a monster or a ghost. And we still have this dinosaur friend. <laughs> Everybody's dancing and having a ball. Who is the silliest dancer of all? Do you like silly dance? You like to wiggle, wiggle? You like to shake, shake, shake? You like to have fun? Oh, look, look at this friend here. He was sitting by himself before, but now he's willing to share his froggy friend with this other boy. At least he's um, willing to show it to other friends. That's a start. That's good. <laughs> I think this girl is very silly. What do you think? Who do you think is the silliest of all? Play a long time. Come join the fun. Yes, now they are going to play together. Well, I think I will. Wait here till I'm done. <gasps> ah, now he, over here, this boy is telling mommy to just wait here and he's going to join the other friends and play together. Oh, we got a cute little baby here too, crawling on the floor. Good for you. That's the way. Everybody's in the band. Yay. Now everyone's joining. Oh, and look, who is holding on to the froggy? This girl is. It's because, I uh, guess, um, he decided to share with her, which is very good. And I think she's holding on to the froggy for him because he needed to uh, play the cymbals. Now everyone's going to dance and line up together. Yay, and the teacher says, hooray. Hold on, let Miss Jamie flip the page. Here we go. Oh, clean up time. Please lend a hand. Thanks so much. This day's been grand. When we are all done, Friends, remember to please tidy up. Very important. We all have to do our share and do our part in tidying up. Even this new friend is tidying up with them. Good job, everyone. So goodbye, John. Goodbye, Sue. Goodbye, Billy. Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Maya. Goodbye, Rue. Goodbye, everybody. It was good to see you. <laughs> but I love music class. I don't want to say goodbye. My froggy wants to stay, and so do I. <laughs> now he's liking the class, and he wanted to stay for music class. That's all right. That's okay. We'll see you soon and other day. That's fine. I know it's very fun. I also wanted to stay, but sometimes we will just have to go. But that's okay. You can always come back next time. And so he is oh, saying bye to his friend and to the teacher, and they will come back next time. That is the end of our story. Boys and girls, have you joined music class before or have you joined any of our programs? Yes, for those of you who have, did you enjoy it? <laughs> Hope you did. For those of you who have never tried it and you would like to try, feel free to contact Miss Jamie and I'll be more than happy to tell you more 
about our programs, our in-person program and online programs. Yes, and you can have so much fun, just like our friend over here. Yep, boys and girls, hope you enjoy this story. And up next, Miss Jamie has a very fun craft to do with you. Hi everyone! Did you guys enjoy that book? Because Miss Jamie loved it. I love music, I love dancing and playing around with YouTube. Well, boys and girls, do you remember the children in the book? They had an egg shaker. When they shake it, it makes a rattling sound. So today, we are going to be making our very own shaker as well. A very simple one. Uh, today, Miss Jamie has prepared some dried rice over here that we're going to use for our shaker. If you don't have rice at home, you can also use uh, pasta or beans. Just make sure it's dry. <laughs> or you can also get some sand outside. You can get your hands on them and you can explore using different materials as they are going to bring you different sand. Yes, and then for our shaker, Miss Jamie is going to show you how to make a shaker from a toilet paper roll today. Yes, super easy to get your hands on, right? I'm sure every family would have toilet paper rolls. And um, whenever you have them, usually I save up a bunch because we always use these for crap. <laughs> See you over there, friends. Yep, uh, if you don't have or you can't find anything at home right now, you can't find toilet paper roll, you can always use something else. If you got those plastic um, eggs, kind of like uh, the Easter eggs, you can also put uh, all your dry materials inside as a shaker for shake shake or any containers you have that will work as well. Um, you can explore with it, but uh, today Miss Jamie will show you how to make one from this, the toilet paper roll. Um, so you might be thinking, hmm, how can we put this inside? It's hollow, I can see you right through. So today we will be using tape. Yes, you can use tape uh, to put them together or you, you have glue at home, you can use that as well. Uh, if you're using hot glue, it works really well. But parents, please be careful. Uh, please either uh, do it by yourself while uh, your children's finished decorating and you can hot glue it together by yourself or for older children, maybe you can um, ask them to help you, but please do watch them and supervise them. Or you can also use stapler to staple them close. Yep. And to decorate our shaker, you can always use different drawing materials like crayons and markers. Uh, today, Miss Jamie is going to use paint. Yeah, yep, got some paint. I have yellow over here and I got red. And of course, I'm going to use my paintbrush to paint it on. You can always do finger paintings, or you can use Q-tips, different materials, even sponges to put it on. So yes, a lot of different ways for you to explore with this craft. Uh, so friends, if you've gathered all of your materials, here we go. Let's start our craft together. Let's first start off with the painting. So here is Miss Jamie's uh, toilet paper roll. We got our paints over here, yellow and red. And this is my paintbrush. Yep, as you can see, I got a piece of paper underneath just to protect my table. And of course, you can find any uh, tablecloth or uh, sheets you have to protect your table as well. Um, if you can't find any at home, no worries. Just immediately wipe off and clean off the paint uh, when you're done painting and it shouldn't stain your table. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to start with yellow here. Let's dip my brush into the paint. See the paint? Yes, paint over here. And we're going to paint it all over the toilet paper roll. Let's put it on. Oh, I see some orange over here. Do you see it? <laughs> Might be some leftover paint from my paintbrush. <laughs> so that's why we're seeing some orange. Oh, friends, do you see what color is my paintbrush? Not the handle, but this part of the brush. It's red, right? Oh, maybe that's why. Maybe last time uh, we didn't clean the red paint off well enough. So now that we're painting yellow, the red and yellow mixes into a bit of orange. Makes it even more interesting. I think it's really cool color mixing. Yes, friends and parents, 
while you're doing this activity. If you wanted to do color mixing with them too, uh, feel free to do that. You can mix the colors together, make a very unique color. Um, and then you can use that to decorate and paint uh, your paper roll. Or if you're using a container, you can also decorate it uh, with paints too, or stickers, anything that you have at home. Wow, I can actually see uh, it turning orange, a little bit of orange. Do you see a friend? Not sure if you can see it here, but I do see uh, some orange. And as you can see, I'm getting some paint on my hand too, but that's fine. Friends, we can always just wash our hands afterwards. If your children don't feel comfortable with it, maybe you can give them gloves or you can um, use a cloth pin. You can pinch onto, onto the toilet paper roll, ask them to hold onto the cloth pin and then they can paint. Because we want it to be inclusive and make sure everyone, every child could participate in this craft. Oh, and another tip uh, for easy cleaning is to mix in a little bit of detergent into the paint, mix it together. And when you're gonna clean it, it comes off way faster. Okay, here we go. Ta-da, you see it? My paper roll, it's uh, a little yellowy orange, you know. Friends, so I'm just going to leave it here we're going to wait for it to dry when it's completely dry or halfway there or almost there we're going to put on a second coat second layer yep because the first coat it's not enough to cover the whole thing if you're fine with it no worries you can always move on to the next step uh without um doing the second coat well anyways let's leave it here and we're going to come back to it and see what happens next so we have waited for about five minutes, I guess. Uh, and as you can see, it's not completely dry yet, but it's mostly dry. So Ms. Jamie's going to put on our second layer. Here's the brush and we're gonna dip it in and let's paint it. Again, we're gonna put on the second coat and this time uh, the color should be more vivid and it should uh, cover cover the, um, the roll, the toilet paper roll. Uh, and more yellow. Yep, you see how uh, we are putting on the wet paint again. So try your best not to touch it. I'm holding onto the side to the edge um, of the roll here. Yep, almost there. Okay, I think it's pretty much done. Uh, once again, we are going to leave it here and we're just going uh, to let it dry. Let's come back when it's dry and we might uh, be able to add the red paint this time. Now that um, the paint, the yellow paint is all dry, we are going to add some red onto it. I'm gonna use my fingers and do some finger painting. Uh, on the toilet paper roll over here. So let's start off some paint like this. Let's put this on, dot, red dots here, red dots there, red dots everywhere. <laughs> and of course you can do any other pattern that you like. Mm, maybe you can even use a marker to draw on it. Yep, okay, I think, I think that's good. Yep. Just some red dots here, red dots there. And once again, I'm just going to leave it here and let it dry. Friends, let's um, finish it when the paint is dry. Now that everything is dry, we are going to enclose it and then add the dry rice in. Yep, so here is the opening. We are going to push it close, push it close like this, yep like this and then we're going to take the stapler and you can uh, put in between staple it close three staples on 
You see, one, two, three, yep. And you can also add some tape on uh, just to make sure it's completely closed. Ah, this way here, yeah. this way on the tape. So let's get some tape out. Let's pull this part out. Oh, one second, please. Ah, there we go. Okay. Flip this part out. Ta-da, some tape over here. We're going to put this on. And then close it. Yep. And then the extra parts that we don't need, we can rip it up. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Like this. So this is what it looks like. And if you didn't like seeing the tape over here, you can always do some paint or use markers uh, to cover it afterwards. Yep, so now that this part is closed, as you can see, we can't see through it anymore because it's closed. We are going to add uh, some rice in. So here is my dried rice or uh, the dry beans um, or any dry pasta that you have. So Miss Jamie is just gonna uh, put it in like this. If you have uh, any scoops or spoons, you can scoop it up. You can put it in like this. But I like feeling the rice. <laughs> Not sure about you, but I love uh, the feel of dry rice on my hands. It's just a sensory thing that I really like. And you can always put it over, uh, put this over the, uh, the bin here. So any rice that comes out will just go back directly into, into the bin here. Okay, there we go. So this time we're going to close it the other way. So as you can see, we closed it this way. Now we're gonna turn it 90 degrees and close it this way, okay? This allows uh, your shaker to have more space in between. Same thing, I'm gonna take my stapler Put it in between, staple it one time, two times, and three times. Ta da! Here it is. This is what it looks like. And same thing, I'm gonna take the tape and let's tape it close. Ooh, the tape is just right. Tape close. There we go. It protects uh, the staples too, so it's not going to hurt your children's hands. If you would like to, you can put uh, more layers of tape on top. Ta-da! So this is what it looks like, friends. This is gonna be our shaker. Should we try it now? Wow, very fun, right? I love the sound. I'm already having fun with it. <laughs> I really like using this shaker. Friends, do you like it? Can't wait to start. How about let's sing um, If You're Happy? Yes, do you like that song too? Let's try it together. If you're happy and you know a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it, if you're happy and you know it, shake, shake, shake. Yay, we can shake it fast. And we can shake it slow. We can shake it high. And we can shake it low. <laughs> Shall we sing the song one more time? If you're happy and you know a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know a shake, shake, shake. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know a shake, shake, shake. Yay, very awesome. I love the shaker and I just love the sound of it. Friends, are you having fun with your shaker too? Because I am loving it. Yes, I love the sound of it. I love shaking it. 
Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you make your very own shaker too. Once again, if you don't have these materials, these are simple materials. You can always find other substitution for it. Hope you're having fun shaking and singing along with Miss Jamie. Well, boys and girls, you know what? It's almost time for us to go. Until next time, let's say bye-bye for now. Oh, until next time, let's shake, shake, shake for now. Bye-bye. It's time to say goodbye. So let's take out our microphone and sing a bye-bye song together. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Bye 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 bye. Thank you for joining us today. I had so much fun with you. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos. Hope to see you soon again. Bye bye.